Hi everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome to another video. Okay, we've just left uh, Smithy's Cafe and um, on discussion there's a pub next door called, I think it's the Bull. Uh, Bull's Head, sorry. And uh, we both decided that if we come back we'll go in there. Um, just the service, Tez had just been in to go to the toilet and uh, she asked somebody which way and it was like everything they could do to try and uh, try and tell her. So yeah, basically Bulls had service, uh, sorry Smithy, the service not very good, staff not very good, food's okay, but not, um, not, not to what uh, we had last week anyway, was it babe? Uh, Yodeman's calf's definitely better. So uh, that's where I suggest you head out to. However, what we'll do is we will do this run again because we thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, we'll go to the pub. Also, you could just use it as a little bit of a tea break. And, uh, you know, just go from there. Yeah. She was coming out no matter what. Could understand her going coming out if she's going to the toilet, but she's just come from it. Okay guys. Let's go and enjoy. Now we have been down this road quite well a long, long, long time ago. But I do believe there's still some lovely scenery to be had. It's a bit more of a major road, so and of course we're in the Peak District, so it's bound to be alright, isn't it? The one thing that some of these places need to understand, and all right, my channel's not very big and it doesn't get, you know, massive amounts of uh, traction, but there are people with channels that have massive traction. And you would think that these places would actually consider that and maybe, well, have a bit more thought that they might get a bit of a bad rep. So, there you go. So, yeah, the staff left up. Mind you, then again, on the other side of the coin, they were very, very, very busy, so they're out there at work on a Sunday and we're right enjoying ourselves, so it's not surprising, is it? Oh, uh, battery's flat. No, that's it, no. I've got another battery. No, I'll leave it to record then. It's probably not. It's probably doing something else. I don't know. It's a shame because there's a guy behind us, could have recorded him a bit. Make it look like we've got mates. <laughs> yeah, you're still quite high up here anyway. And we should end up dropping down towards Bakewell and then out, out that way and, and making our way home. Well, we're actually going to our granddaughter's because we're giving her a birthday present, but... So that's been for a little round trip in the top box. What are you laughing at? I don't think that's recording with that spanner on it, though. Yeah, just turn it off, turn it off completely, and then when I get a chance, I'll pull in and put your last battery in. Could do with that in, to be honest with you. I was going to change it while we were there, and I should have done. Though the moo cows are laying down, isn't that a bad sign of rain? Apparently. Yeah.
Yeah, mine's had a sunshine and cloud, which is pretty much what it's done, isn't it? Outbreaks of sunshine. I'm not complaining, it's been a good day. But I do think we need to get that battery changed because there's some beautiful scenery here. So I just have to find somewhere no. No, you won't do. Yeah, it is a battery flat dock. It's the, it's this way of warning you that it's um not happy. Just need somewhere to pull in nice and safe. You just have to quick have a quick stop to look at this. I love this monster. <laughs> okay. Right, what I've done is I've changed the settings on the camera and I put it on wide view now. But still the same 24 frames per second. Uh, which is what I've been told is the average and the correct one. So we'll go from there and see what that gets us. So welcome everybody, welcome to the channel. And uh, we're out again on this trusted steed, happy. Absolutely loving what we're seeing. Lots of lovely music, chat with Teresa. Tessie's on the back with a uh, GoPro Hero 7. And uh, yeah, so good. I must go quickly, there's a plant sale. <laughs> She's giggling now. <laughs> I think the next ride out we'll have a go at patching, well I'm going to have a go at patching her through off the bike to see if it does actually work and then if it does work we'll have a go and you can hear everything Tez is giggling at because she giggles a lot you said that last time, we do it's beautiful isn't it, oh look at that that's a church you know what, you know if you get this right, there'll be my soundtrack and your video. corner oh I don't want to go home oh I can't do that anyway I've got to do a left and then go around the roundabout okay so we know that there that goes then, that goes straight to that calf. Oh mate, you are. Yeah, there used to be a restaurant there somewhere. Well, I say used to be. Right, well this is Bakewell. There are some miserable bikers out there. If you ride a bike, not your head. Seems that way, doesn't it? Tessie just says it's just miserable people in general. Oh, what's up with you? You're out on a beautiful day like this in this gorgeous countryside. No, darling. I don't know why I've still got my indicator on. It's 
So again, they're not going to, are they? Oh, you're going to get in the way now, are you? Hmm. You didn't look, did you? Oh no. Tess is just saying that no matter what goes wrong with us, we always seem to find the funny side of it. And then we remember it. Some of our best holidays have been where everything's gone wrong. I mean, that holiday, we didn't have a pot to piss in, did we? We didn't even, have, we only just had enough fuel to get back. I know. Yeah, it's just, what she's saying was we, um, we went camping at Whitby and when we got to the farm he wanted to charge us for the size of tent and we hadn't got much money so he says, have you, you haven't got a big tent have you? And oh no. So we took ourselves right down the bottom of the campsite, right in the back and basically set up in a hedge. And lo and behold, 20 minutes after we set up, farmer come wandering down to make a, <laughs> make a fire. <laughs> So yeah, um, but bless him, he didn't charge us anymore. I think he was just, I think he probably realised. Mm, I think he probably realised that we were, there you go, it's the grouse and claret, babe. The grouse and claret. This pub is awesome, beautiful meal, but they did have, and whether they've still got it or not, a, uh, a campsite at the back of it, just to take your caravan on, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah, they did that as well. Oh, this is beautiful, babe. It's nice having a workout with all them Nigeria rows, but it's nice to just be able to relax. So what we're doing now, we're coming basically from Bakewell on the road to Matlock. Um, and it has got a 50 limit and they do have a lot of speed traps up here so especially on a Sunday and when the weather's nice so please be warned well my new gloves are amazing I'm uh, very happy they're just light and steady and <laughs> no. Hello, everybody. Hopefully, this will go on to that. It's going to take me ages to sort this out, you know. <laughs> Don't matter. I'm not bothered. I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Wow. I've told you. I uh, know. I've told you all before. I absolutely adore to see people enjoying themselves when they come and you know we're all like-minded people whether it be you're a biker or a skier or a golfer or whatever you are you want to spend a bit of time doing the thing you love to do there's not really much happening here oh bless him Thank you. Yeah, there's not a great deal happening along here, so you probably won't be seeing much of this. Apart from those lovely views, look at that. Here we go with the scenery again, look at that. This is Matlock area for you, everyone. Again, beautiful Peak District, Derbyshire Dales, I don't know what you call it anymore. Is this Derbyshire Dales or Peak District? This is the Derbyshire Dales, Tess tells me. I even love the buildings, the buildings are amazing. I know, and I said hello back. Just. 
That's what it's all about though, isn't it, sweet? It's what we're all about, all of us. Well, it's flying it. We're coming into Tansley now. So we're right, come out of Matlock. Instead of being on the Matlock Bath uh, Road, we're in Tansley. <laughs> I don't know. What makes me laugh is you've got that lovely pub there and then you've got this like industrial thing here in the middle of the countryside. Brilliant, isn't it? Butchers Lane. Anybody not been down to Matlock or Matlock Bath, it's well worth uh, a trip out. Really nice area. Yeah. Yeah, if any of you actually see us at these cafes that watch the videos, um, I, you know we're on a GT. If you look on the number plate, it's got the um, Midlife Crisis 22 on there. And you say, please come and say hello, we'd love to talk to you. Perhaps even put you on the channel if you want to. Won't force anybody, but it'd be nice to come and say hello to some of you. If you are coming this way, the police like to sit in there. And then they'll also like to sit in here as well. So you catch as you no, they catch as you come round the bend. You've got you and you've got a little bit um amorous. Also everyone, there's absolutely loads and loads and loads of roads around here. You can shoot up and down. So just be careful at this junction, there's usually a car boot round here somewhere. It's on there, isn't it? Although, I'm not sure they're grabbing it now. So there's usually quite a bit of traffic. Yeah. Now they've got cows in there at the minute, babe, so I think they might not be doing it. Right, in that case then, they will be doing it. Yeah. Well, it's a good way of getting a bit of revenue out of field you leave in to, to have a rest, isn't it? Do a car boot on it. It's very pretty over there. Is that what they are? Rhododendrons. Very pretty. Yeah. There are lots of motorhomes out today, my lovely. That's something we'd like to take a look at, maybe. You're going to where? Oh, this one on the bend. Wow, he's got some lights, hasn't he? I've got light envy. Well, this garden centre here. Yeah. Yeah, it's at uh, Chesterfield way. Well, Clay, oh, I don't even know. It's not even Chesterfield, is it? 
It's the 617 going up to Chesterfield at the beginning. Yeah, I've seen it. It don't matter, I'm back in my own lane now. <coughs> <laughs> Are you listening to Come On Arlene, babe? And well, just a just a chance. Yeah, he said. Every every time we come down here. <laughs> Yeah? What did you do? Oh, okay. Is it a new estate? A proper little panicker, isn't he? I think. When they get what? When it don't rain? Yeah, they put it out for this afternoon, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> could have been eating. Well, it's nice to break free from a uh, for a little minute. Well, you'd have thought so, wouldn't you? Okay. <laughs> toad hole, toad hole furnace. Okay. Whatever that is. Oh, it is a tractor. Yeah, I think I'll let him buy. I don't think it's a pub anymore. It's a bit weird. It used to be a pub. But uh, no, it's not anymore. Um, yeah. Good idea. They say it's lost all its signage and everything to be a pub. Still got the Amber Hotel written on it. Whether it's just not a hotel, I don't know. There's right, some stunning views up here. Look at that. Uh, well, see for miles and miles and miles. Beautiful.
just a stone throw away, aren't we? Literally. I know. Well listen everybody, I reckon looking at that view that's probably going to be it for this video and uh, thank you so much for joining us, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends if you've enjoyed it, give us a like, so from me and Tez out on this beautiful sunny day, I'd like to say to you all, bye bye, take care and do yourselves a favour, ride safe, all the best everyone, bye.